don't feel like you're running in circle trying to build your online presence. You're posting, liking, commenting, and trying to get noticed, but wondering how can I keep up with all of this and still have the time to actually coach. And when you're first starting out, chances are you're probably a one-person show, so you don't have a large team and you don't have any backup to help you out. If that sounds like you, today I am going to share some game-changing strategy that had helped me to navigate through this social media landscape as one-person show and still spending less time on social media but making big impact. Let's dive in. Michelle and I am a visibility and marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to get seen, get hurt, and get clients so that they can turn this passion into a profitable business. Today I'm sharing my strategies of how I navigate through this social media landscape and spending less time but still making big impact. The struggle that I see a lot of coaches are experiencing is they know that they need to be on social media, they know that they need to be having that visibility, and they know that they need to start creating content in order for their clients to find them. But at the end of the day, there's so many things that you have to do exactly where do you start and how do you begin. And when you're someone who's new and you're still trying to figure out what is my niche and what is my message and how do I create offer to send it out to to my potential client, then social media marketing become very overwhelming because there's just so many things that you have to do. So today the strategies is going to help you to simplify your content creation so that you can stay consistent and you can spend less time on social media and actually more time working on what would make your business profitable. Step number one is all about getting organized with the planning and scheduling. Consistency is the key. You probably have heard this so many times, but it doesn't mean that you have to live there. You got to start with a plan. So consistency comes with a plan. If you don't have a plan, chances are your messages is scattered, you're feeling scattered, and sometimes you post and sometimes you don't. That's where visibility is not working for you. Ask yourself, what topic do I want to cover? When and how often am I going to post? And what is my ultimate goal for these posts? Setting an intention in with your plan is going to help you to ground yourself in terms of what do I want my post to do for me, whether it's education, inspiration, or do I just want to be on social media to entertain my audience, or do I want to just start offering my one-on-one -on -one coaching? What is it that you want your post and your presence to do for you? Maybe you want to grow in an audience. Great. Let that be the intention that you have. Creating a content plan in advance is going to save you from the overwhelm and it's going to set you up for success. And yes, your future assistant well, thank you for this because that person also needs to know what the heck are we doing on social media. I'll drop a link down below in the description box where I have videos that I dive into why exactly do you need a content strategy. I also have a social media content planner that's going to help you to do just that. I'll share also the link down below. Moving on to step number two, identify your topic. Don't wait until the last minute to decide what you want to post. Having topic ready streamlines your creativity process. You don't want to be finding yourself sitting down and wondering, okay, what do I want to talk about? So by the time that you sit down to create, you're already focusing on the production and not the brainstorming. The brainstorming comes ahead of time before this production happened. I use tools like Notion to keep my content ideas organized and I'll share a link down below to give you a video in sneak peek into how I create that process. I do this by giving my week a theme. So let's say this week I want to focus on getting coaches to sign up to my workshop. Then I will focus on my topic around what this workshop is about and make that workshop as the theme for the week. If I want to I'll get more one-on-one -on -one coaching clients signing up, then I would pick an important topic that I want to focus on that's important for my dream client to hear about and I will make that 
as my focus for the week. So picking a topic means that you're actually aligning your topic with the intention of what you want to do in step number one. So step number one is to planning and actually sitting down to plan and schedule them ahead on your calendar. And step number two is to fill in those blanks on your schedule exactly which topic I want to talk about. So by the time you actually sit down in the production mode, you don't have to think about, oh, what do I want to talk about today? Step three is life changing. So step three involves batching your content. So you have the plan, you scheduled it on your calendar, and you know the topic that you're going to talk about. The next step is to actually batch these content. So typically what I like to do is I dedicate one day out of the week for content creation. And this is my production day. Whether it's shooting a video or creating posts, having a day focused on just creating or just Focusing on the production means that you're not scrambling around daily trying to figure out, okay, so today I'm going to shoot video. No, today I got a right caption. So you dedicate one day out of your week just focusing on the production aspect. So if you're shooting video, maybe you need to set up equipment, maybe you need to put your makeup on, maybe you need to uh, dress up, different outfit, things that you need to do. And what I do is I dedicate that one particular day. If I'm just making video, this is the day I'm making video. If this is the day for me to write, I'm just going to sit down and start writing, dumping out some captions. This approach will not only increase your efficiency, but it also ensure that you have a steady streams of content ready to go. And when we batch content, it actually creates an energy, a very nice momentum and flow so that you don't stop and getting distracted to do something else. Next step, step number four is to carve out each day for engagement. Interaction is really the soul and the heart of social media. Think of social media as a big networking platform where you get to meet and interact your potential audience, your potential clients. And so what I would like to do is I use scheduling apps to post your content, schedule them out so that it free up your time to connect with your audience authentically. This means that you're able to go in there to reply their comment or request or visiting their profile to place some comments on their profile. This allows you to keep that conversation going. And at the end of the day, social media is just another platform for you to keep that conversation going. Okay. By now you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Michelle, but that's still a lot of things to do. Well, here's the thing. You have to remember that Rome was not built in one day. Starting with one strategy and gradually incorporate that into your everyday routine is crucial. For instance, always jotting down content idea as they come to you. And you're not doing this last minute things so that you never at a loss when it's time to create. This way, you're not feeling overwhelmed and you can actually enjoy the process. So my routine typically involves if I have an idea, if I remember something or I hear a conversation or I talk to my clients and their idea coming up, what I do is I take out my mobile device and I put it into the note section this is the topic that I'm going to create content around. And by the time I sit down to actually do the production, I can just pull out these ideas from my content idea bank and I can simply just go into the creation mode. As you get used to this routine and these strategies, you're going to find that managing your social media becomes less of a task and it's more something that's the exciting part of your business. So take a deep breath plan out your attack, and watch your online visibility grows without sacrificing your sanity. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more video like this, and comment down below and share your social media time-saving strategies with us. Here's to making an impact without the burnout. I will catch you in the next video.